Small drones are rewriting the rules of infantry warfare, turning seemingly safe frontline locations into death traps, Forbes reports. Once in position, the first thing an infantryman does is use his tool to dig a hole deep enough to provide cover and protection from direct fire and shrapnel. This can be expanded into a foxhole, a one-man fighting position deep enough to stand in. With more time and the help of engineering equipment, the defensive position can be expanded into a trench system. It is deep enough to move around in without being in danger. A firing step on one side allows soldiers to look over the edge and scan enemy lines. The network will link fighting positions, places to place heavy weapons such as machine guns, communication lines, storage areas and rest areas. The trench can be camouflaged and some areas have overhead cover. Trench systems typically feature underground bunkers or dugouts with reinforced roofs that are strong enough to withstand artillery fire. But drones have made many of these defensive measures obsolete and, in some cases, dangerous. Drones, household quadcopters equipped with a mechanism for dropping one or more grenades, can drop bombs with extreme accuracy from considerable heights. Any soldier in a trench can dig his own grave. UAVs can dive vertically onto defensive positions, and anti-drone nets now seem universal in trenches on both sides. Many overhead shelters have also been installed to protect against drones. However, the situation has changed most with previously safe bunkers and dugouts. The article says, FPV attacks are more sudden and decisive. Some Ukrainian drones are now armed with thermobaric warheads. This is a type of explosive that produces little shrapnel but is powerful and flows around corners in earthen defensive structures. Thermobaric munitions can demolish a building and will be very effective against underground positions. Some believe that the military would be safer if the bunker had doors. However, doors only absorb the first one or two hits from such complexes before the defenses are breached. Heavy armored doors can be blown open by an explosion or welded shut by thermite ammunition, making them more dangerous than useful. Small drones are effective against even the best prepared defensive positions. One of Ukraine's biggest successes early in the Kursk offensive was the capture of an underground bunker complex described as a vast concrete and heavily fortified company stronghold where more than 100 Russians surrendered. The publication noted that the impressive attacks by Dragon drones that spray thermite incendiary mixture on Russian positions may not only be aimed at burning down shelters. A video of a Russian occupier filming the aftermath of a thermite drone attack shows that it burned holes in the drone-proof netting in several places, potentially leaving them vulnerable. Бать там детонирует. Как мы сейчас вот эту хуйню проедем? Что там? Патроны, снаряды. Пацаны бесстрашные, вот, поехали. О, 
Ой, блядь, нихуя. Ох ты, блядь. Он решил развернуться.